beautiful night, about 78 degrees. And we are underway, Miami and Tampa Bay, round one. Here comes Deion Harris. And he's eventually get some help. Fernandez, turn around, Sabre will shoot. Just off to the left. And Sebastian Guenzani. Man out of Uruguay, here it comes. Oh, oh that was nearly going to hook in just inside that right post. Again, two steps, one, two, and look at the bend and whip. Hits right on. The Paco. Oh, well done. Rowdy's now a chance to attack. Fernandez trying to fight through. Leo inside the box on the ground. It's live. It's scored. Save Guinzani. Rowdy's lead. And they counter press Leo Fernandez, kind of pitch. There was a shot by Fernandez, no call by the referee. Gets the shot off, and guess who's there? El Capitan, who makes a living poaching goals in the USA Championship, and he poaches like no other. Oh, look out. Here it comes. Kyle Murphy trying to get to it. Brino comes up, goals open. Murphy trying to turn it around and sails it over the goal. It's getting in, be in between Brino and the ball. Looks like it hits White's hand. And look at White stay on top of it. Throws his body behind it. Great crowd in attendance. In round one of the postseason. Antley. White. Another ball that's dangerous. Brino can't save it. And it's in. Joaquin Rivas has delivered, and we're level at one. Ball will skate out. Rowdies will keep possession here. Harris will send it on. Ricochets oh! out with dead stands. No, he did not. A blistering shot from Nicky Law, and the Rowdies lead 2-1. About the wrong person. Great delivery by Dion Harris. Excellent head back and Yodi. And he put his laces right through it. Maguire can just stop, stare. Lacaba waits for it. Harris, is there a lane? Shooting right through it. And Dion Harris nearly made it 3 1. Crowd loves the effort. Law back to Harris. Little flick towards the goal. Rebound there. Scored! It's Saba one more time. The captain has left his mark. And this delivery, Jufalios. Paco Craig can't do anything with it. And look at Johnny on the spot. Poaching goals like no other. Saba Guenzati. Skate across the box. A little bit of space. Straight on. Williams will let it go. Brino with the big save. I'm on. Save up. Oh, we... Full time whistle. The Rowdies victorious in round one of the USL Championship postseason presented by High Sense. Historical night one way or the other of course Detroit City FC in white Memphis in the blue and they're looking for uh, their first ever playoff win talking about both teams of course and we are underway at AutoZone Park. 901 FC finding plenty of pockets of space though in the outside channels outside the uh, two left and right sided center backs in this three man set. Here comes Jeremy Kelly he could have a shot if he wants it he does De knocked away by Steinwasher covers up still loose and then is able to grab it. Sure. If you watch a terrific strike, and now he leaps like a fish. Two great teams, both legitimate playoff teams. Second seed Memphis against seventh seed, seventh seed Detroit what a ball City. That was. Here comes Jeremy Kelly with a shot. Leg save by Steinwasher. A gorgeous save. Dotson, third touch, fourth touch, finds some space. Still trying to get the ball, and it finally swept away. 
a raking pass, beautiful pass. Finds Kelly, great opportunity there, uh, and a terrific job. Now over, looking for Seagrass. Seagrass centering pass, there's Dotson. Dotson, one timer deflected it over the goal. Oh my, I'm not sure whose boot that was. A really good job on one of the best attackers uh, in, in the USL Championship, so uh, credit to him so far. Open up. There's a curling shot, parried away as Rutz has a go for Opano. We've seen this verse before. Declan Wynn into the box, had it shot and just over the bar. Oh my, Maxi Rodriguez. Matthews, yeah. Matthews got the head to it and just couldn't get it down in the second half. And you know, the only saving grace is that it's still scoreless at this point. There's plenty of time to, to rectify the situation, but you know, they've got to get some control of this match. Leston Paul threw ball to Philip Goodrum. Goodrum over to Chris Allen. Allen from 10 yards. Shot and a goal! Chris Allen! Come plum, and you see a beautiful ball from Leston Paul that starts it, and Goodrum very unselfishly slots it over. Chris Allen right-footed, unerring, into the bottom left-hand corner of the net. Not much had been going right for 901 FC, but doesn't matter now. You get that first goal, so important, and now with just 20 minutes or so left in the match, 901 FC got what they needed. Beautifully placed, far post. Leston Paul started. Leston Paul, good job settling the ball down, but can only get it as far as Connor Rutz now. This will go left side for Declan Wynn. Goes in the box, he's got a man here. There's a shot and a toe poke, and there is a goal. The match tying goal for Yazid Matthews. And just like that, in the 78th minute, Detroit City has taken some of the wind out of this crowd in Memphis, Tennessee. Necessarily pretty ball, took a couple of hops, a really heavy touch, but it almost worked in his advantage. As you see, he shins the ball off that first touch. Instead of bringing it under control, it goes way, and it took Graham Smith out of play. I think Smith was surprised by the way that ball deflected. He expected it to go one direction. It goes a different direction, and that allows Matthews to just get that toe to it and put it past an outstretched Trey Muse, and all of a sudden, Memphis is setting up like he'll send it into the blender, but he won't. He'll play it short to Jeremy Kelly. Now into the box, headed on. Nice, pulled away. No, it goes in. Memphis, 901 FC. Was it Graham Smith? It was. Like it just went past him diving. This was a little uh, wraparound header and he did not touch it. He looked like he was going to, and he just... Here's Antoine open up. He's got an overlapping run. Still, he'll look for Joe, but that's overplayed. And the Logue with a header. And all the way to Derek Dodson. Dodson finds Goodrum. A chip shot will do it. Here's a shot from near midfield. Go, baby! Go, baby! He did it! Memphis 901 FC has put the dagger in Detroit City! Look at it. Well, and again, it was it was just very smart to play that ball up, and the risk was taken as Steinwasher went. Is that a football term? They've yeah, got five they're... players to just let All rip. the wide receivers, that's right, just going to go with a Hail and Mary. There, and that's there's it. the final whistle for the first time in franchise history, a playoff home game for the first time in franchise history. Seven degrees, clear skies, and we are underway tonight from Colorado Springs. RGV is in blue. Entire season. He'll clip this forward. Good ball in, put across and just wide. Macaulay King nearly finding the opener inside of three minutes. Cam Lindley is the leading chance creator in the USL Championship for good reason, but there's no reason whatsoever why Maka King goes on. Again, he played short. Cross comes in right to the penalty spot. Galena right on frame, but it's Tyler Derrick there to make the save for RGV. Here's Enriquez. Good ball forward. It's Galena and it's saved. Colin Miller off the bench, and I think 
time stop there. The vision. Watch Jairo Enriquez. Beautifully taken off the head and look. Forward thinking the entire time. Off the outside of the right foot. Just enough pace to get it out in front of Misha Galina. He's got to finish this. Eight to ten yards out. Again, decision making in the final third has plagued this team in this game. Lindley back for King. The back post and the header looping over the bar. Miller was sprawling out for it. Expected goals in this game for Colorado Springs, 0.9 for RGV, 0.09 as Akaza tries to get it by Caldwell. That's the first shot on target of the night for the Toros. Miles an hour the other direction. Well done. Love the challenge. Goes straight up here. No foul whatsoever by Pimentel. And that is the end of the night for Elvis Samal. This substitution brought to you by the William J. Hibble Sports Medicine and Performance Center. Learn more at Hibble Center. The last time that he donned the Stars and Stripes. An incre incredible player for sure. Extremely talented anywhere that you want to play him within the center of the park. Here's Galena. Galena's shot is right at Miller. Hodge, searching ball forward, Henriquez is there, and he scores! A big moment for Colorado Springs, RGB appeal, but it's the switchbacks who celebrate and lead 1-0 late on. But this could be your savior. All night long, long balls, combination, you name it. They've asked plenty of questions, but could not complete the execution. Aaron Wheeler occupies the center back. This enables the ball up over the top. For Jairo Enriquez, he's the back post run. It's the cut in that causes concern. Did it come up off the hand? That angle looks like no. I should say as well, defensively, the recovery runs have been brilliant from both teams all night long, but here in the second half, which if you haven't done themselves any favors, watch out. And now can the switchbacks put this away? Galena cuts it into the middle. It's Wheeler to finish this off. Two late goals for Colorado Springs. And they will be moving on to the next round. Backway can't get there. Galena's too fleet of foot. No man in the USL Championship is going to win that race in a one-on-one -on -one situation. All the real estate, and finally, we've been asking for it all night long. The ball comes square back across. Aaron Wheeler, the mid-season acquisition that Brendan Burke said he wanted and the team needed. Man, celebrating this one tonight. Wheeler, is there one more? Aaron Wheeler! Wheeler scores! There's the exclamation mark for Colorado Springs. Surely moving on, the switchbacks will celebrate. Get personal this one. They didn't like the comments coming from RGV. After the last victory, they felt disrespected. They said, don't worry, plenty of bulletin board material, plenty of naysayers and all the white noise that we need in order to propel ourselves to victory. You've gotten your playmakers out of Cam Lindley. You've gotten the attackers. And now you've got one of the biggest leaders within that locker room who's gotten a brace. He's gotten a victory. And they've moved themselves into the Western Conference semifinals. New Mexico on the ball. Sergio Rivas will have the honors. And we are officially underway here in the first round of the USL Championship playoffs. Go and play top-seeded San Antonio in the second round of the playoffs as Dami Villadera tries to, a, a sloppy pass there that ends up with Armando Moreno. He has a shot and it is just wide of goal. Another attack for New Mexico and Danny Vidiello just beyond his outstretched hands. A sloppy giveaway. It was Dami Villadere who done well initially, but he gives that ball away looking for La Grassa. Moreno trying to sneak that ball on the far post. Vitiello had it come across it in so far. Not too much from Dami Villadere on the left, but he's open now. And here's Villadere, as you mentioned, trying to make a run with 
A shot on goal and rebounds back and Malik Foster is there. And it, and it was offsides. A great opportunity though for Sacramento, certainly energizing the crowd. And on to the next round. As you mentioned, USL playoffs, everything gets reseeded. And here we have Keko on the near side. Crosses it in. Looking for Malik Foster, and it is saved once again by Tom Bacchus, it looks like, or off the post. He'll certainly be kicking himself, finding some 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 of the woodwork there on the goal instead of the back of the net. Incredible cross by Keiko right between the goal. They're careful to not get offsides. Rivas. Moreno here. Big shot from outside the box. And a near goal for New Mexico, that one sails just wide left. That was the first time Sacramento had failed to make the playoffs, and with this New Mexico squad that was founded in 2019, it was also their first year to not make the postseason, but here's Malik Foster, a run, a shot, and it's a goal for Sacramento! Early on in the second half, Malik Foster finding the back of the net as Sac Republic takes a 1-0 lead here in the 47th minute. In behind for Malik Foster, a minute into the second half, Keko holds it up, Roro, what a pass, and when he gets in space, he has the speed and what a finish. The composure by Malik Foster gets his first ever playoff goal for the Republic. Brilliant start to the second half. You saw Alexi Swahi there, looked like he was almost running in mud compared to Foster. He saw nothing but green in front of him and he was not going to let that opportunity slip away yet again. Pressure on themselves. Yearwood sends it in and Lacroix is there to clear it out as Keko now gets possession trying to turn it into a run the other way. Here comes Malik Foster sprinting up ahead, gets behind the defense. It's just going to be him and the keeper in. Nico Brett and he's trying to float that into the goal but he just the whole stadium just saw Malik. Republic had that corner kick. Vitiello off his line, getting fortunate with the clearance. Here's Lopez with the corner kick, sending it in, and it almost turns into a goal. A couple of Republic players there, Luis Felipe and Connor Donovan, but... And it was Swahi, I think it was, the defender who was underneath it, but once again, New Mexico just unable to get out of their own 18. Here's Keko with a shot from beyond, and it deflects into the back of the net off of Luther Arshamek. He wasn't planning on it going in that way, but they'll take a goal any way they can get it. And just like that, Sacramento takes a 2-0 lead here in the opening round of the USL playoffs. As you get another look at it, just New Mexico not taking care of the ball. Just turning it over via there. Roro finding Keiko and Archimed could tie. I think that's off his hand, actually. You get a look at that replay. It might be off his left hand or his head and maybe his hand. That's, uh, that's a little unfortunate there. That's one of those situations if you're, if you're Sacramento. Joshua Suggs here on the near sideline. And now we've got a run from Luther Arshamed. A one-on-one -on -one situation with the keeper. <laughs> Trying to encourage their team in these final seconds as we wait for the whistle. And there it is, Sacramento wins it. 2-0 over New Mexico United. The Republic are on to the second round of the USL playoffs. It's the Eastern Conference quarterfinals on this Sunday. Birmingham Legion and Pittsburgh Riverhounds. And with the whistle, we are underway. Griffin has options. Dixon is storming down the flank. Dixon cuts it back. Mertz an opportunity. Mertz around Kavita. Van Okel with a big time stop. The chance. Here's Robbie Mertz, a little weaving and dancing. And Matt Van Okel somehow gets down and gets a hand on that ball. Anderson is see do. Seam in a half space, finds Agadello. His pass, Martinez denied by Waits. Well, 
struck by Martinez. Jamali Waite has his wall of four set. Martinez leaves it. Dean, Waite with another save. Martinez has his shot blocked. Little touch to the side, Johnny Dean hits a worm burner. Enzo Martinez just couldn't quite collect it the way he wanted to to get the second shot off. Off by Asiadu, who gets right to the feet of Juan Agadello. Aravo. Martinez, lovely flick. Back to Aravo. Kasim, just wide of the mark. Legion don't have too many options wide. Martinez does go wide. Agadello, Kasim! Straight from the training ground, Birmingham Legion lead this Eastern Conference quarterfinal. About this. Perfect touches from everybody. And you don't think of Prosper Kasim as the man who's going to win balls in the air, but he does on that occasion. But Ryan James gives it up. Sims, Mertz, a dangerous ball. Kizza scores! An instant impact for Edward Kizza. Almost immediately off the bench, he ties this quarterfinal at one. Scores the biggest goal of the year for the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Behind Jake Roof and in front of Alex Cronali, he finds that gap. And a great snap header down and into the far side netting. So 1-1 one, one our score. One that pays off almost immediately for them. Again, a coach's decision changes the flow of the match. That is the end of regulation. 15 minute session of this extra time. Blake Gardner, Mike Getman, glad to have you with us tonight. 1 1 our score for now. Blarby, Lopez squares it. Lapa! scores, Birmingham Legion back in front in extra time. And then you forget about Bruno Lapa. He scored goals his whole career, and as you see on this replay, he finds that little gap, just waited for the ball to be played, and took it so cleanly with that right foot. Biggest differences for this side this year was the depth they had coming off the bench this year, something they didn't have prior years. Bellarabi, Bellarabi around a man, Bellarabi denied by the foot of weight. What a save. Lapa went down, referee allows play to continue and got in the way of Aravo. Aravo down behind the play, Pittsburgh attacking. Yang across the face of goal, it's in. It's Kizza again for the second time tonight. Edward Kizza levels the match. I do think the referee's feeling it as well. He's going to take a minute or two here just to collect himself because he got hit in the head. A huge break for Pittsburgh as Kizza started the attack. And a defensive midfielder for Birmingham was down. And Kizza, who started the attack, eventually Mike finishes it as well. Kizza has been Mr. Instant Impact. Nearly his first touch in the game scored. And now the second time the ball got served into him, he's put that in the back of the net as well. Lopped into the penalty area. Danger around the six yard box and finally cleared away by the Legion. And that brings extra time to a close. It's the Cameroonian William E. Yang. Can he send Pittsburgh through? He can't! Spangenberg again!
the Birmingham captain, Fonwell Kavita. Kavita scores. How about these Birmingham defenders in this PK shootout? Shootout going. Keep Pittsburgh's hopes alive. Peters, yes. Just his eighth game all season. And DuPont is saved. Wait, his third stop of the shootout. You have to feel good. But when it doesn't go in, it's certainly not a comfortable feeling as his teammates. Kizza scores. Pittsburgh are through to the Eastern Conference semis in one of the best USL championship playoff games you'll ever see. And then on the 10th and final penalty kick, seals the victory in front of a huge partisan crowd. Second straight season of the postseason. And for San Diego, it's the same in the playoffs. This one is at home. It's a special night here at Torreo Stadium, and we're underway. Yeah, I mean, speaking of depth, they could play. They have played multiple positions. They have done so throughout this season. All right, here we go. Adams going right at it. Blanchett takes it down. It's a scramble in front. And he'll take it down. The nifty move for Adams. With a cross, right to the near post. Wow, Blanchett had to go right to him. Deadly when he does with his 19 goals, third in USL. A brief touch on, now it's out to Juan. Back it out to Carr. Colin Martin coming back to it. Dennis with a left foot, and it's in. An opening strike, 36 minutes on. And Charlie Dennis, with his fourth of the year, has put Oakland up 1-0. by Charlie Dennis. He make, leaves no doubt about this. And here as a car gets deflected, Dennis takes a cleaning touch and a half volley absolutely rips that. There's nothing Coke Vegas can do. What a great settling touch. And then just rips it to the side netting on the far post. Guido. Amon goes back to it. Going far post. Oh, just cleared. It'll be another corner for San Diego. Shed by surprise a little bit. I'm sure that turf. And for Vegas. Oh, and it'll be an easy one to walk this one in for a second of the night. Linda Mfeka with his third of the season. And just at the top of the 18, the mistake makes it 2 0 Oakland. Kyle Adams there. Just not enough on that. A little too soft of a pass. And Mefeka, just like Among on the other side, pressuring there. Koke's unable to slide tackle that away. It's outside of the box, so he can't use his hands, and Mafeka just walks that in. Charlie Adams mixing it up there. Now push, long reigns. Vegas will have to take it down on the rebound. Mafeka looking for his second of the night. Nearly came close. For Oakland. That's the first substitution, Diaz. For Nane. And the Mongs will get hit with a yellow card away from the ball. It's the third yellow of the night for San Diego. And Amon just been thrown out. So that's the second yellow. Be a Friday night contest in San Antonio. Diaz leaves it, and this one will go in for a third. No, oh, an offside. We'll wave that one off. Never mind. Offside. We'll wave it off. It will not count. 
Now Azagar will pick it up. And it'll be a second yellow and a red for Stoneman. So that'll be San Diego playing with eight now at the end of this contest. Great through ball. And there is the official third on the assist for Carlson. It's Fisore who makes it 3 nothing. Oakland up three men. And Oakland moving closer and closer to that San Antonio playoff match. Yeah, lovely little combination play right there. Nice touches by Fisore. Walks that one in unmarked. And that'll do it. For the second year in a row, the Oakland Roots have taken their opening playoff match.